out an elk or an owl, uh, a weasel, a marten, a coyote, a wolf, a fox. Anything except a grizzly bear I'd probably enjoy running into out here today. Hey, good morning. Can you see me? It's still kind of dark out. Hey. Hope you're having a good day so far. I'm out this morning to do some photography. There's the Tetons over there. The deal is today, it's 38 degrees. It's October. Overcast, light rain. There's still fall color. It's way past peak fall color, but there's still good fall colors out there. Uh, elk and moose wandering around. And I have a couple hours this morning to just go for a drive and see if I can make some photos today. So I have workshops the next four days starting tomorrow. Bang, 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 bang. And that's kind of what I've been doing. Uh, so today I'm out on my own because I just can't get enough. I'm out in the field every day and even on my days off. I'm out in the field because I love it out here. So uh, I'm going to try and make some interesting photos. We'll see what the light's going to do and the critters are going to do, but uh, I have some time to just look around. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to bring you along. You'll probably see some just random stuff as I'm driving along. I'll take little snapshots of things that catch my eye and I'll try and walk you through those unless they happen, you know, lickety split and I have to make a photo and then it's over, which happens quite a bit. But anyway, that's the deal out there. It looks uh, quite lovely. Most of the mountains are socked in. You probably can't see, can you? Sorry. Uh, anyway, uh, that's the deal this morning. Thanks for joining along. I hope uh, we're able to make a nice video for you today. Thanks for following along. Talk to you in a minute. Hopefully when I find something good. So first potential photo op here. I don't know if you can see that out there, but there's a hillside here and a little ridge. There's about 50 elk grazing on that hillside. So, and there's a bull, obviously, he just bugled. Uh, the only, they're kind of standing in the sagebrush here. So the only potential photo I see here, which had, has potential to be kind of nice, is if and when they all make it up to the ridge, They'll skyline, and I've got cloudy skies, and depending on where they come over that ridge, I could have like snowy, fresh snow on the mountains right behind them too. So that would look pretty good. But a lot of things would have to go right. Oh, cow, cow. Yeah, I only see one bull there. Uh, so he, that'd be kind of what I want to do. I'm going to spin around here because where the bull is, I wouldn't have a the mountain as a background behind him. It would just be white clouds. And so I think if I can get where that bull might come up, if I can get the mountain to appear behind that silhouette skylining action, that could be decent. So I'm going to just move around here and see if I can make that work. And then we'll see if the elk cooperate. That's a whole nother situation to worry about here. <clears throat> so now I've got the ridge, then trees, then the clouds, then the mountains. And I don't want those, I don't like those trees in the frame because they're dark. 
and they are going to block the view. Oh, shoot. There's one. There are two bulls. One of them's on the ridge uh, with trees right behind them. I'll show you what I mean, how it just doesn't work quite as well. Oh, yeah, there he is. He disappeared already. Anyway, this is kind of the view there. The bull, that bull, there's another bull actually, um, went over the ridge already, unfortunately. There's another bull on the ridge, but same thing. Instead of having just clouds and mountains behind him, they've got trees, which is too cluttery for me. Anyway, it's nice, but it's not what I had envisioned. And the only way I could get him to skyline there is I probably I would have to go about a hundred yards closer to him, and that would spook them getting out of my car and running up there. So this isn't going to work out very well, I'm afraid. All right. Well, it was a good thought, but anyway, that's not going to work out the way I'd hoped. So. Let's keep moving. a great yellow tree that I wanted to get in the background with this bull elk. There we go. Very nice. That was gorgeous. Now his buddy's going to come walk across, hopefully in the same spot. That was really good. Uh, the, I thought those elk might fight for a second, but they didn't. I'm wiping down my lens and camera real quick with a dry towel. Uh, anyway, these two bulls are still coming across here. A car came by and spooked them. Somebody got out of their car and they went away. But 
they're working their way back this way. Uh, I'm gonna keep my eye on the background in case there's a really cool uh, background that I can maybe get them with. But they're two decent bulls. Certainly not the biggest bulls we've got out here, but good enough. And in this beautiful rain, it's all saturated, very colorful because of the rain. It's pretty nice. So uh, I'm gonna stick with these guys for at least a few more minutes and see what kind of action we might get. Because they are lovely. And the conditions are just fantastic. I love it like this. It's still pretty dark, but it's gorgeous. Those elk are coming across. It's now, it's like grapple. You know what grapple is? It's like hail, mixed of rain and hail. It's grappling, which can be really dramatic in photos. I've got both of these bull elk here looking at me. They're kind of up above me, which isn't ideal. But I do love this grapple stuff. And then some dude pulled up and starts whistling at the elk. Just a heads up, that's illegal to do in the National Park. People seem to love to do that to get their photos though. I'm not one of those people. All right, that was great. Right out of the gate there, get some elk in the darkness. Sort of dark, but uh, just beautiful situation with the rain and some fall color behind them. Excellent stuff. But they've kind of wandered off and I'm gonna keep wandering off myself. So let's keep moving. There's that guy that was whistling at the elk to try and get him to look up. Boo! All right, uh, there goes Bob. Bob, good morning, YouTube fan. Um, wanted to say hello while I pulled over to make some photos of some really dramatic, beautiful light over there. What am I looking there? I'm up, I'm up here. Uh, anyway, it was beautiful light, I pulled over. Bob pulled over, hey Bob. And uh, I'm gonna keep moving now. But that was nice, really good dramatic stuff going on over there with the beautiful light. It's still happening too. Way over there. Hello. Hey. I couldn't take being in the car anymore. I've been out driving a lot. And I had to get out and go for a walk. Even though it's like rain and snow mix. Kinda wet and wintry. It's still beautiful. Uh, honestly, I don't know what I'm expecting to see out here, but I just wanted to get out and go for a walk. So it actually feels really good. But I don't love my chances for finding something to photograph. It's not gonna stop me from trying though. But anyway, here's, here's what it looks like. It's beautiful. Be nice if something came out, an elk or an owl, uh, a weasel, a marten, a coyote, a wolf, a fox, anything except a grizzly bear I'd probably enjoy running into out here today. Maybe I'll get lucky, maybe not. And I didn't find a darn thing to photograph out there. Didn't see a thing move. Not a squirrel, not a bird. Not a bear, not a wolverine, nothing. But there is something real magical about 
going for a walk in the forest in the rain. The smell is definitely a big part of that. It smells so amazing. The sound of the uh, rain, or in this case, grapple, hitting your jacket. You know, that noise. It's just pretty great. Fresh air, stretching the legs. Then I'll get back in the car, towel off the equipment, and keep moving, see if there's anything else I can find. But, uh, sheesh, is it nice to be out here. So anyway, I'm almost back to the car. I'll see you back there, hopefully with an update on something to photograph. <sighs> looking for owls. Uh, this is a spot that like five days ago, a friend of mine saw an owl back here. Great gray owl, my favorite. And I've been coming here every day for the last five days. Getting out hiking around in the woods, both sides of the road. I have yet to see any sign of an owl. But here I am again. I'm just doing a drive through this morning, hoping to get lucky with an owl sitting out in the open hunting or something, but uh, been tough year for owls in the Tetons. Can't find them. And uh, I don't know many people that have been able to find them. So anyway, that's what I'm doing back here. Another thing I'll mention, uh, I'm listening to audiobooks as I drive around most days, unless I'm with clients and stuff. Um, I'm totally late to the Anthony Bourdain party, but I've been listening to Kitchen Confidential uh, and it's awesome. I'm about done with it. And so entertaining. Such a great book. And I don't know how many years ago it came out. Like 15 years ago, maybe? Maybe more. I'd have to look. But I'm way late to that party. But what a wonderful book. Very entertaining uh, as I'm driving around out here. Uh, so uh, I highly recommend that. I'll leave a link in the description to that below. Uh, and so you can check that out. And yeah, so there's my recommendation for the day. Thought I'd mention that as I'm looking for this owl. All right, back to it. It doesn't look good for my owl adventure this morning. But I'll keep looking.
there you have it. That's going to be the end of a morning of drive-by photography in Grand Teton National Park. And it was pretty good. We had lovely fog, great light, a couple of nice subjects, a couple of random quick encounters with subjects that I didn't have time to talk about or pull over and shoot video of. Uh, but overall, I would call this a morning where it could have been better, of course, and it could have been worse. So, pretty good. And But I had an absolute blast. It's lovely out there, and you got to be out there to have those, like, epic mornings. And this wasn't one of them, but it, this, this was nice to be out, made some decent photos. So, I hope you enjoyed all that stuff. That's all I have to say about that. Have a nice day. Please subscribe to the channel if you want to see another video later. Have a good one. Take care. Bye.